All right, guys, down in the Keys. Still getting a lot of wind moving through. Hard to tell right now, but uh, it's howling, blowing 40 miles an hour, or up to 40. Uh, we're just going for some mangrove snapper. I took the boat out yesterday. It was way too rough to really do anything. Uh, so just gonna make a quick little how-to video. Uh, I'm going for mangrove. We already got a grunt so far. Weather's far from ideal. Current's moving the wrong way, but uh, we're gonna give it a shot anyways. Just running 15 pound line with a 15 pound leader. A little one ounce egg weight and a small hook. Uh, just doing a little simple knocker rig. Weight's free to move as it needs. And I've got the shrimp hooked uh, tail going forward toward the head. Just casting it out, letting it sit. Uh, trying to find areas where there's some structure, some current. Um, fortunately, hurricane really uh, disturbed the vegetation. So there's a lot of weeds floating through. You can't see them, they're sitting low. Um, so if you cast anywhere out there right now, you're just gonna reel in a pound of seaweed. Uh, so we're gonna try to work this wall bit over here. Uh, and hope for the best, see what we can come up with. Just gonna cast over that current and uh, really just wanna give it a little bit of line, let it settle. Um, might get some snags. You wanna find a spot with some structure, uh, some moving water. You'll find them in areas with less current, but they're usually just hanging out. Uh, the ones, there it is, there's a hit already. I'm gonna let them eat it. You'll see they'll sometimes come in and grab it and circle back and hit it a few more times. They don't always uh, aggressively grab it in one hit, especially larger shrimp. Sometimes they'll clean you off, it's just the nature of it. We bought five dozen shrimp before we came out here. Let's see what we come up with. Oh, right, there it is, yep. Just working in that current. That's what we got. Nah, it's a gray snapper. You have the pliers? They've got some real sharp teeth and some real sharp spines here. You gotta be real careful when you're handling these. They will bite you and they will stick you, but fun fish to catch. Let them go. Do it again. A little bigger. So, got something bigger here. Hold me up in a under the structure here. Sometimes you just gotta free line it. This is definitely something bigger. Maybe a little Goliath grouper or a bigger snapper. Got me under there. When you find a good spot with these, they're just back to back. You can usually just pull them in one after the other. Oh, there's a hit. Felt like a hit. Yeah, here we go. There he is. Right in that current again. Coming in. Yep. A nice little mangrove there. All right, so just like the other ones, they will get you. Teeth, some sharp spines here, real stiff. Definitely want to use pliers to get the hooks out. Sometimes easiest thing to do is just grab the hook and shake them. Shake, and they go. Current slot is 10 inches. 
Might have been close, but not quite big enough. Let's bring home. And just I'm gonna cast right to the left of you. You're good there. Nice little grunt. We got a little yellow porgy. Gonna let him go though. Nice looking fish though. Swim away. Just never know what you're gonna catch. Nice mangrove. He might make it. You guys could see just how easy it is. That was literally right off the wall here. Didn't even have to uh, cast. Might make the slot. These are good eating fish too. Easy to clean. There you go. Crushing them there. That's a nice one, man. Check the size on that. Nice. Decent mangrove. Swallowed it. Let's see if he makes slot. He's got a little more size. I guess he felt like he did. Nice mangrove. Very nice. All right. Well, it makes up for that one still sitting out there with uh, a, a fish one. hold up. Yeah, it's a good one. That's gonna make a good sandwich. Oh, he's back out. He's he's pulling again. Oh, damn it! All right. Well, while that sits there, let's get a measurement on this. and a quarter. Not bad. Pretty good one. Front. I keep getting tugged here. camera died got a decent one he is about 12 inches nice fish makes a good sandwich oh you're a little further out it's a nice one A little blue runner just jumped the wall. <laughs> Guess it was my turn to catch a grunt. broke me off nope oh damn it damn it <laughs> well there's good fish here he uh there must be a ledge under there that he got under still fun still good fight maybe we can find his friends he's probably long gone now plan was to try to pull him up through here and out 
Some sharp rocks down there. It's the second time I broke off down there. Guys, we had some rain come in, so let's take a little temporary shelter for a minute here just to let it pass. A hurricane even moved through a few days ago, but the tails just won't leave. They just keep coming through, so we're just kind of hanging out, giving it a minute. It's been like this for the last five days or so. It's disappointing. But still getting fish. Not the way we want it to. Hiding out, still catching fish. Not very comfortable, but it's working. All right, guys, we're taking shelter still. We were catching some fish. Had a grunt down there, but wind picked up quite a bit. Hanging out, waiting for it to pass. Might be here for a bit though. But, uh, if you're going fishing for mangrove, make sure you pick a good day. Don't do what we did. 